Hi guys, today we are going to see half a rectifier. Okay, welcome to the electrical topics. Here, uh, to study the operation of a half a rectifier without and with filter, and also to find the ripple factor. Okay, the components rectifier required here is a rectifier kit, which is having a resistor, which is having a diode, and which is having a transformer. Okay, and a CRO and some connecting wires. Okay. If required, ammeter. Okay, these are the components. And coming to the connections, see here. So this is the circuit. Already it is given. The circuit is given inside the kit. And from here we got six ground six. This is a center tap rectifier. So you can take any of the two terminals. You can take either this two or this two. So first of all, from six volts. See here. From six volts, we are gonna. I am connecting to the. Diode positive, so I am diode positive. After that, from diode negative to ammeter. So from diode negative to ammeter. In this half a rectifier, if I don't use, no need of using ammeter. So I am going to bypass this ammeter connection. Okay. So after that, I need a resistor. Here the resistance is there. So I am taking the resistance circuit. I'm connecting this because this value is 100 ohms, and I am considering this 100 ohms only. I'm not considering this variable resistor. That's why I'm going to short this one. If you want to consider variable resistor, you can you can take out this wire and you can use it. Okay. So these are the connections. After that, if you observe, whenever any component diagram is there, that means there won't be any connection between the circuit. If straight line is there, there is a internal connection. So when straight lines are there, that means Already, this has connected internally, so no need of putting wire from here to here. Okay, so uh, we have connected from here to here, here to here, and here we got short circuited. From this point, uh, already resistance is there, and from this point, this wire is going to the this point, right? So again, I am taking this. from here. I am taking a wire from ground to this point and from this point to the this terminal this terminals are there no so if i connect one that means i have connected all these lines because it is internally connected right this is the circuit very simple circuit and after that you have to connect to uh, cro so i am putting the cro probe i am taking channel 1 okay after connecting cro probe Uh, so this here of probe i am connecting to the output terminals from this point that is this and from this point that is this black terminal i am connecting to this point that means you have to connect cro to the output terminals right now switch on switch on the circuit see directly we are getting a output so here you need to understand this cro so like i am telling about that see now i have connected to the channel 1 there are two two channels so i have to connect to the channel 1 if channel 1 is there this should not be pressed it is in channel 1 if i press this one channel 2 is going to open no need of using channel channel 2 okay we here we have if you connect to the channel 2 then you have to press this channel 2 button then that channel will be coming okay now i am not using that i am using only one channel so here this is the channel one connection so already it is coming so this is used to take the reference this is the x axis so you have to put this line on the x axis that is very important and this is used to move the circuit that means from this x point x axis the waveform has to come so we generally we used to put the starting point starting point here like this so this is how you have to put the circuit right and here there is a times per division and there is channel 1 which is having having 5 volts that means the voltage which we have given is 5 volts and uh, time base is 10 milliseconds if you so time base is 10 milliseconds so here how you are going to check the values if you observe this there are divisions right there are lines here so first of all you have to keep into the x axis this is the x axis line so you put in the x axis line after that you put from the starting point you uh, this is the uh, origin so 
like this you have to put and after that if you observe carefully it is exactly from here to here and so from here to here one and half so up to here we are getting so one and half so one and half and 1.5 so 1.5 into channel 1 voltage is 5 so here 1.5 into so here the height here we have taken 1.5 right 1.5 into and uh, uh, channel 1 is 5 volts so 1.5 into 5 7.5 volts ok so Vm is 7.5 so this is the Vm value so here I have kept a box that is the readings which we are going to take from CR1 so this is 7.5 volts ok so after that you have to find out VRMS VRMS is nothing but Vm by 2 that is 7.5 by 2 that is 3.75 volts ok next VDC is Vm by 5 pi. so that is Vm value is uh, 7.5 by pi that is yes 2.387 so this value is 2.387 volts so here uh, vm by pi that is 7.5 by 5 so here uh, the formula is uh, ripple factor equal to under root vrms by vdc whole square minus 1 so here we are going to put the values and we are going to do the calculation so here vm vm will get cancelled and we have to do pi by pi by 2 directly if you do pi by 2 you are going to get the value over to whole square minus 1 like that you are going to take the values ok next coming to the theoretical theoretical if you observe carefully vrm is equal to vm by 2 vdc equal to vm by 2 vm by pi so uh, here uh, ripple factor in the ripple factor uh, under root vrms by vdc whole square minus 1 right so if you calculate vrms is nothing but vm by 2 vdc is nothing but vm by pi so vm vm will get cancelled and the value will be under root pi by 2 whole square minus 1 so what is the value for this one 1.21 so this is the theoretical value you can do like this or there is another way that is ripple factor equal to under uh, vac by vdc so how you are going to find out v v a c v a c means there is a formula called v r m square plus v a c equal to v a c square plus v d c square so uh, here i want v a c so v a c equal to under root v r m square minus v d c square uh, i know v r m s value i know v d c value so if you do that you are going to get v a c value if you substitute like that also you can find out ripple factor this is how you have to find out of a rectifier without filter theoretical and practical values so now we are going to do the calculations for half wave rectifier with filter for with filter this is the diagram what we are going to change is here we are using the filter of capacitance ok so now I am considering uh, 100 microfarad uh, see the lesser the uh, free, lesser the capacitance value the better the uh, ripples you are going to see ok so I will show you the difference also so here the connections everything will be same only you have to connect capacitor across this load so here two points are there right from here we are going to connect one capacitor so here we are going to take values from this point from the output point so from here I am connecting a uh, capacitor so I am taking 100 microfarad see I am taking 100 microfarad and from negative also I am taking 100 microfarad capacitance so automatically we got the ripples so here if you observe carefully this is the ripples what we are going to get right so here we are getting filtered uh, value see here so the waveform is like this if we put a capacitance value we are getting like this if I take 1000 microfarad the ripples will be lesser see 
you cannot find that much easy that's why i'm not considering 1000 microfarad i am taking 100 microfarad such that i'm going to get the difference very easily the filtration this this difference i can find out right so coming to the practical calculations see the box indicates these values should be taken from the readings so first i am considering practical values so v r peak to peak v r peak to peak means from this point to this point so from this point to this point this is almost one division is there one division into voltage how much voltage is there 5 volts so here 1 into 5 that is 5 volts so you have to consider only this value okay and next i am considering v shift value for v shift value if i take the capacitance value right so the entire thing you need to consider that means from this point to this point you have to consider so from this point to this point means one one and half right so i'm putting this back and one and half until 1.5 right 1.5 into 1.5 into what is the divisions here 5 volts so 1.5 into 5 7.5 volts so this is how you have to take after that the formula is vdc ripple equal to vr peak to peak that is 5 by 2 plus 7.5 then you are going to get vdc ripple next vac ripple for finding vac ripple vr peak to peak see the peak why i am saying peak to peak means the starting point and the ending point is at the peak only after getting filtered so this point my uh, the difference between this point you have to take so we are v, uh, vac equal to vr peak to peak that is 5 by 2 root 2 if you put this you are going to get vac value after that the formula is uh, ripple factor equal to vac ripple by vdc ripple that is we are uh, this value vac value by vdc value then you are going to get the practical answers okay and coming to the theoretical value theoretical value here we are considering uh, this this resistance is of 100 ohms resistance so i am considering 100 ohms rl and next uh, i am considering 100 microfarad 100 microfarad so here i am considering 100 microfarad and frequency i am considering 50 hz okay you frequency you can calculate in a different way also first of all i will say this so ripple factor equal to 1 by 2 root 3 f into c into rl so 1 by 2 root 3 into uh, frequency i am considering as 50 into c c what is the capacitance value 100 into micro micro means 10 power 6 into resistance value is 100 so 100 so by doing this you are going to get the ripple factor see for exact calculating calculating of frequency if you want to calculate f equal to 1 by time period so if you observe carefully the time period of this one is from this point to this point that means we have to check the divisions 1 2 3 4 and 5 so from 5 5 divisions are there 5 into time base so 5 into so time period directly we can find out time period so time period equal 5 into 10 milliseconds okay so you are going to get the value that value if you substitute by here you are going to get the frequency value into 10 power minus 3 okay you are going to get the frequency value like that also suppose say nearby 33 uh, hedges you are going to get so like that you are going to calculate the frequency value also right thank you very much